Hello and welcome back to my video. In this video I will show how you can use Webpack to include uh, images directly inside the JavaScript file if it's a small images and how you can put it automatically in your public folder depends on where you use it in your JavaScript. So if you remove an image and remove your public folder you will recompile it and all the image will be on the right places. So let's begin. This is my configuration file for, for Webpack. It's very simple right now. And I'll go for my Webpack configuration file uh, and add a model and then the rules in an array. And then I want to say we want to test on. Uh, on the PNG files and JPEG file. You can add the files uh, you need, but in this case I only want those two. I want to exclude uh, the node models and then I want to say I need the loader URL loader. This is uh, a loader. That's basic what you need inside right now. Uh, I need to install the loader here. Uh, NP, uh, npm install your loader save deal. And you need the file loader too. When this is finished, we will go for a JavaScript, uh, the index file, sorry, and we want to add uh, an image container. And a save. And we go for the JavaScript file here. It's uh, a JavaScript file we want to compile. And first, we want to make an image object. And in this object, we want to say style with uh, height should be 100 pixels. And we want to say the style width should be 100 pixels. And the next step is we want to set the source for the file. And because it's the JavaScript is using it, I will require, when you use the require, it's going inside the loader because this is the JPEG file. I have my my Webpack logo here. So I go in for the images and say webpack.png and save it here. And I want to define uh, which, uh, which element we want to, uh, to find. So get element by idea and our image container. This element should append to append whoops, append child and we want our image object. And then you can uh, go for the watch to see what's happened. You, you will see nothing happened here. And if we go inside here, you can see it uh, says the property is null the container. And that's expected because we don't load, uh, we load the, the container before the page. When you use this, we have it up here in the header and the header always being loading before the body so to prevent this issue you need to to move it down so the last uh, line we fire to the browser should be app bundle so so it's have the container and then the bundle so let's go in again and you can see you have it now if we go in for the elements 
you have the container, have everything inside, but if I view the source code, nothing inside. It's because the JavaScript generated, and you can see it's a base uh, 46 uh, code, it's very big, and in this case it's, it's okay to use uh, to use it, but if you have a lot of images, uh, then your JavaScript file would be very big. In my case, this file is uh, four, uh, 54 kilobytes, and if I have 10 of those, it's around a half megabyte. So it will uh, fast be heavy loading. So let's prevent this. We go back for for configuration file for for web pack. And now we add the options and we say 1000 bytes, it's 10 kilobytes around. And let's see what happened now. Should be one file here, yeah. And if I go back to my browser, it should be error. It's because it's trying to load the public slash the file name. And you can see we have it in essence. So if we have a lot of files, it's not optimal to have all the files inside one folder because it's easier for us to debug if something is wrong, if we have it in, in separate folders, but it's just more for, for our own, uh, own sake to do this. So let's do this. I say the name should be images, uh, the name, and the extent. This is the built-in functions. Uh, what I say here is we take the file and go one level back and create the folder images and take the file uh, webpack.png webpack.png and place it in the image folder. And then we need to s what is the public path of these images? I will say this is the root folder, images, and this is the public folder. Let's see if this resolve our problem. It's compiled correct. You can see it here, webpack, and it's one level deep. So let's remove this file to not uh, to be sure it's, it's gone. And here we go. So this is a a video about how you can use images in webpack it's very very simple and it's effective so if you have any question please make the questions as a comments below i'll try to answer so many i can and if you like it make a like please share this video and add it to your playlist so you can remember that i hope you enjoy and i really hope you want to subscribe my channel see you next time